The digital twin on climate change adaptation will produce multi-decadal simulations of the past and future climate at kilometer scale resolution to provide information from global to regional and national levels. This is critical because we need to better understand the impacts of climate change to support climate adaptation strategies. The Climate Twin will be implemented by CSC in Finland, together with partners in six European countries, on behalf of ECMWF. The models underpinning the Climate Adaptation Twin are using unprecedented resolution. This allows us to improve the simulation quality by resolving more physical processes explicitly and to provide information on the local scale where the impacts of climate change are felt with a level of detail that was previously unavailable. However, there is one big challenge. Multiple decades of kilometer scale simulations would need huge amounts of storage space. Of course, we could compromise by only saving some selected fields, but then we would be limited as not all the information needed will be available. Due to the large data volumes, it would also be unfeasible for users to download all the data they need and use it for their applications to provide climate information for various sectors. An important novelty of the Climate Twin, which aims to overcome these challenges, is the concept of data streaming. This consists in running applications within the Digital Twin workflow side by side with the global Climate Twin simulations and allowing the applications to access the data that they need while the Digital Twin is running. A user will, for example, be able to put their application, say a hydrology model, into the Digital Twin workflow where it will have full access to simulated precipitation to compute river flows. They will be able to provide information on water levels and flooding as well as how they will change in the future climate. In the streaming concept, the output from the Digital Twin will only be available for a short period of time before being replaced by the next chunk of model output. So the hydrology model would have to keep up with the Digital Twin and finish its computation before the next chunk of data will become available and override the previous chunk. This is very similar to observing the real world. We can measure rainfall, but only if we put a rain gauge in the place where we want to measure rainfall. Analogous to setting up a rain gauge in the real world, the application has to be in place and be ready to receive streamed data before the Climate Twin simulation starts. This streaming approach allows us to increase the amount of climate information which will be available for different impact sectors. To develop it, selected users are involved in the Climate Twin development right from the start through a co-design approach. With the Digital Twin on climate change adaptation, we are pushing the boundaries in terms of simulation quality and technical developments to provide easy access to high-quality simulations of the future climate.